Good morning, welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick. My name is Dean Jones. I'm gonna be going over a Fusion toy hauler we just got on trade. It's a pristine unit with all the bells and whistles. Um, there's a lot to unpack, so we'll just get started. Uh, just a couple of notes on this toy hauler, and I'll go over them again in the end. It's a 44 foot long unit. It's 13 foot, three inches tall. It's a three slide. It sleeps nine. It's got a fresh water of 106 gallons, a gray, gray tank of 88 gallons, and a black tank at 88 gallons. Uh, there's a 30 gallon gas station and a 30 gallon tank for your own generator that we'll be going over. Um, the unit will, will haul 3,500 pounds, 3,000 in the garage. Um, and the hitch weight is 3760. And the dry weight on this unit is 15,240 pounds. This is the Fusion 419. It's a 2020 model. And uh, let's get started. If you want to reference this unit, I don't know if you can see this, but the stock number is 5U210736. It is available. Um, I'm going to start in the back because we got a lot to uncover. So we'll, uh, we'll start back here. It does have a, oh, oh wait. <laughs> It does have a stowaway ladder, so you can get up on your roof, check your seals and what have you, keep your roof healthy. Um, but it does tucks away real nice, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, flopping around. Just these pins, you pull it out, you drop it, you get up there. So, really good deal there. Um, you do have a fuel station on this guy. This is going to power your ATVs, your razors. This is definitely a big enough one to haul a pretty good sized razor. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit. But this is your fuel pump, uh, your gauge. As you see, it's got a little about an eighth of a, a quarter tank right there. Uh, this is how you pump your fuel. Let me see here. Show you this guy. Should have had this open. So it's got a gas pump just like your gas station at, at the, or the pump at the gas station. Nice little fuel pump. That's how you get those razors and those motorcycles filled up. But you see two gas caps here, and the reason for that, and it is locking so no one can steal your gas. That's kind of a nice feature. This is gonna fill up the 30 gallon tank for this guy, but you also have a tank for your generator. So if you're out there boondocking or whatever, um, you run this dry, it'll actually tap into this or vice versa. So you got plenty of gas storage on this guy. Um, you do have a painted metal skirt on the bottom to, to wear the road a little bit nicer. If you look underneath this guy, you'll see that it's fully enclosed, insulated. So that's going to get you like deeper into the seasons on camping and stuff because you do have an insulated enclosed underbelly. We have a 50 amp service because you do have three ACs on this guy, one in the garage, which is really nice. Um, that's your power cord. It does come with this power cord. Um, it is a triple axle, so this is a big, big unit. We talked about it being 15,240 pounds. This is dually material. I mean, you could probably pull it with a powerful single rear wheel, 3,500, but for me, I'd get a dually just for the stability because it's a big one. Um, you do have 16-inch aluminum wheels. That's going to cool off your brakes a little bit better, but it's a real stable unit. If you notice, these hydraulic leveling jacks are on the outside of the frame. That's a wide, a wide body chassis. Um, it just it makes it feel a lot more stable when it's on the ground and it's it's stable or leveled. I mean, you do have your tank cleanouts right here. This is one of your uh, outlets there. It is a triple slide. This being the kitchen slide, you do have access to your big refrigerator that I'm going to show you in a minute. But this is how you would service that 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 refrigerator right here. Nice frameless glass windows. There's no soft material around here exposed to the sun. Those windows seem to last longer. As you see, they're tinted. Really nice windows. It is a fiberglass unit. It's not gonna take any hail. This is a black tank flush. Oh, that, that's your actually water. That's your water tank. That's your water fill. Sorry about that. That's your water fill if you want to fill one of your tanks. 
And this is your 12 gallon hot water heater. It's gas and electric. This is your, you have a 35,000 BTU furnace in this guy, heating this bad boy. And this is the exhaust port on that. Right here you see your generator exhaust. We'll show that in a minute. But right here you have your wet bay. So you've got these little guys on your legend. So power fill, you just turn these to match these colors. And that's how you, you know, go power fill, dry camping, city water, winterize, or tank flush. You do have your tank flushes here, your city water fill, and your winterize port. Um, you do have an outdoor shower right here, if you can see that. You just plug in a little, you stub in a little quick connect hose and you got hot and cold water out here. This is your battery disconnect. You can actually disable the whole coach with this guy by turning it and pulling the key out. Now right here you do have a thing called Key TV. It's a cable satellite switch that's automatic. It's kind of a nice feature. You're not out here looking for an AB button. If you plug in to cable, it's going to run cable throughout the coach. If you plug in satellite, it's going to run satellite throughout the coach. You don't have to go digging through counter or cabinets looking for that guy there. Um, your gate valves are inside where it's nice and warm. Those aren't going to get cold and crusty and break on you, in, in, you know, when you really need them. Um, and this is the side of the pass-through storage. It's a little bit narrow here, but you do have a light and you'll see it on the other side. It's really open and there's not much obstructing it other than your wet bay here. You got slam latches on this guy. Uh, real nice features there. This guy's gonna be your hydraulic for your uh, for your wide stance uh, stabilization right there. This is how you fill with your hydraulic fluid, but as you see, it's real nice and clean, and that's that. Now this is gonna be your uh, maybe this is gonna be your 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 hydraulic electronic leveling panel. Um, you just turn that guy on. Um, you can auto level this guy, you can retract it all at once, or you can independently move these up and down if you feel like you didn't get it right, but it should get it right every time. Moving around to the front, we do have a docking light switch. That's to get it a little bit more you know, light when you're, dock, when you're hooking up at night. Nice storage right here under the bed, or actually under the closet. Uh, but it's, it's just a nice little extra you know, carpeted box you can put stuff in. Uh, this guy here, is your 60 gallons of propane. Really nice place. It's not real high. You don't have to pick these bottles up and, and heave them down to the ground. They're kind of at knee level. So I like the way they've done that. You do have a switch here. Let's go from bottle to bottle. Now this is, a good, this is one of my favorite parts of this guy. So you've got a 5,500 watt Onan quiet gas generator. It powers off that gas tank over there. If you're the kind of boondocker or sand dunes kind of people, this thing will run for a long time on that tank of gas and it's super quiet. So it's already in a firebox. It's remote controlled from inside. You don't have to come, I mean, you could start it from here, but you got the button on the inside in command. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, very nice, bulletproof. I mean, these things are the best. I think these, I call these the Rolls Royce of, uh, of generators. They're, they're just beautiful if you haven't ever had one before. Super quiet too. So. Coming around the front, I will point out this has a full fiberglass front cap. It's, there's no screw tracks here to, to pop out. This wraps around the front. This is going to take the most abuse of traveling down the road, all the rock chips and stuff like that. So they got a really good front cap. Very nice. And you can kind of tell a, a little nicer product when you see fiberglass front caps on stuff. Again, tinted windows. Here's your battery bank. Right here you see your chassis batteries. Again, not too hard to take. This one would be a little heavier to pull out, but this one's kind of nice at knee level. But those are interstate batteries, really good batteries. I bet you they're pretty new. This is gonna be your ink command. We'll go over that inside. Um, this is your brain of your unit. Um, one thing to note, you can actually get an app for this guy and kind of run this guy from your smartphone. Um, you do have, your, your, you have a central back system. This is the attachments to keep your coach clean. And again, here's the, the pass-through storage. I'll let you look at it. It's, it's, a, it's got quite a bit of storage in it. You know, with the storage up front over your, uh, over your generator, you got a little extra storage on the front end of this, this beautiful guy. And again, slam latches, real easy. You do have 110 out here if you want to plug anything in, a radio or what have you, although you do have speakers in this guy. But, uh, for those who haven't seen this stair system before, it's 
really neat. It's, it's kind of a, they used, we do have fold out stairs here and I'll tell you why that we have those over there in a minute. But for your main in, in and out, this guy just kind of pops up in here. It kind of clips on the door frame and the door shuts, you know, no problem. You do have a keypad lock on this guy. But it comes down and if you see these little guys here, you can pull these pins and adjust this. If you're on a little bit of a mound, you can make these pretty stable. What I like about them too is they don't bend up and stuff and they don't get dirty as much. And they just feel a lot more stable when you walk in the coach, when you're first getting ready to level it and stuff. It, it's not so swimmy, it doesn't give you that weird feeling. So it's a real stable, great way to do stairs. And that's been going on for a couple years now. But I'll point out a couple things back in here. Let me pull this out for a minute. You've got, right here you see this little nozzle? That's a propane stub out. So if you wanted to put a grill out here, you could just put a quick connect in there and that'll actually get your propane to the, to the campsite. Um, you also have two low point drains and that's where your spare tire is for your for your, your trailer wheels there. So that's kind of neat. You have all that tucked away real nicely and easy to get to. What's also nice about these stairs is you can put them down and still close your door. I need to adjust that chair, but and then you have a handle that kind of tucks away. You do have a 10 and a 14 foot awning. There's the 14, there's the 10. You got plenty of shade on this side. And they're not really wasting any of it with your, with your, your mid slide there. But you do have, oh, when you're back here, look at the top of this guy. You'll see there's three ACs on that guy. One for the living room, one for the master bedroom, and one for the garage. It really keeps this thing cool. You do have marine speakers. This is just a zone you pick in your stereo inside. But you also have a little place for a TV. It's got that key satellite TV in there and a power source you can look at. So it's not a big TV, but it's nice to have one out here if you want to watch the Super Bowl when you're at the sand dunes. But again, slam latches. Uh, Now this, this is a fold up stair and it's actually a pretty nice one. It's aluminum, real light. The reason this is here is because if it had the other stair system in it, it would be taking away square footage in your garage. We don't want that. So this is a two entry unit. Um, it's almost you know imperative that we keep it this way and it's just for ergonomics in there. So it's not a, but if you take care, and it's also got the box it sits in. So these ought to keep a little cleaner and, and work for you over the time. I do prefer the other one, but we just can't put that one here. But uh, this is a little storage. It's a little dusty in there, but it's just for like boots, stuff, a little bit more rugged gear, helmets, stuff like that from riding gear. But it's a nice to have out here, so you can, any little storage helps. So I'd show you that. Now we're gonna go in, we're gonna exit the side of this guy. If you notice, there's an awning over this deck. This is a cable down party deck. I don't have the st stabilizers down, but these are actually legs that come down. I just kind of hold it up. We're not gonna be partying out here today, so I left those up. It is a cable down deck. It does have levelers on it, so you can kind of check your level on it. And it does have a rail going around it with the staircase with the handle. This is a really nice system here. As you come up here, you notice again, there's an awning back here to keep you cool. This unit is outfitted with sliding doors that kind of make this like a patio door. I have them, I'll show them to you over here, but um, you just pull this thing. This is, you don't have latches on the back of this toy hauler. You just pull this and the, and the whole tailgate comes down. It's real easy. You're not messing with locks and bar locks and all that stuff, but it does. It has, has a queen bed up here. This makes another queen bed, or of course you can put the table in the middle have a nice little card game or a meal back there. You do have cup holders in these guys. And if you notice, the AC is going back here. It's, a, it's its own independent AC. Fifteen foot of cargo space. I mean, this is going to really hold that uh, that 
four seat razor. That's what this thing's kind of built for. So um, what's really nice about this too is these are multiple grab hooks on the floor. So instead of a D-ring where you can only put one or two straps in, you've got five different places. So for the guys who have three or four Harleys that like to get them at different angles, these are gonna be used for just about every piece of equipment in here at any given time. So it's a real versatile, I love these systems. I don't know what the weight capacity, but I know it's big. Um, so this is the door system we talked about. I didn't have it installed because it's kind of warm out, but it does have screen and glass, so you can make that solid or you can get a breeze going through there. Um, right here is your bed lift switch. See how that kind of goes up? So yeah, there's a way you can put this bed up and pin it and then just use this. I just have it set up this way to demonstrate what it's all about. Um, but basically, in a nutshell, when you lay these down, like so, both sides, you pick up this bed and this disc picks up and carries the bed to the top, you pin it and you drop it back down. But it's all worked on one switch. You've got this awning, this is where you, your awning in the back comes in and out. You also have another zone of speakers right there by your Dometic AC back here. Put this up as a... Also, with toy haulers, you have a lot of combustible motors and stuff in here. So, one of the ways they keep this ventilated, I mean, th what's nice about this unit is it's got a vapor wall. A lot of, this is called a vapor wall. So, when you have your stuff on this side, you don't have vapors going into your living area, which is a really nice thing. The smaller, like, travel trailer toy haulers are pretty much open. They serve their purpose, but this is kind of the, the top of the deal here. Um, but that being said, you still don't want to trap a bunch of vapors in here because you might pull your toys out and sleep, use this as kind of a bedroom for the kids. So as you're traveling, you've got two kind of vents. This one sits forward this way and catches the air. And there's one down here, let me show you. There's one down here that you, you open that way to exhaust the air. So one kind of wings out towards your tow vehicle, one wings out towards the back of the trailer. And that's how you get air moving through here when you're traveling. So if you don't, this is your first time with a toy hauler, that's what those are all about. You do have some storage up here. And you've got, right here is pretty neat. Oh, let me get my keys. this is you got stuff for riding gloves that kind of thing but this is your ladder storage for your loft up there or if you want to jump up on that bed it's just kind of a dual purpose ladder but if you look at this guy you see this big square tubing and aluminum how this thing's framed um, the fusion is kind of a the reason they call this a fusion is because it's fused between the Montana which is probably the best selling fifth wheel in the country and has been for years and years and years and then their toy hauler department came together and made this and this is very signature of the Montana. It's a really good build. You get all this real beefy, big square tube aluminum. So I like to show that too. This one's outfitted with a second bath or half bath back here. It does have a porcelain foot flush toilet. Nice little vanity and sink. little furnace outlet there, kind of warm if you need to. Now, as we get into the living quarters of this guy, there's a couple things to note. It does have a really neat little loft. I'll let you put your camera up there because I'm not gonna dismount that ladder. But you could put that camera up in there and show that loft out. It goes way back there behind that cabinet. Kids seem to love that area the best. And that little LED light's a push button light, so no one has to come down. If they were reading it and they wanna pop that off, they can go to sleep. That's that little like circle in the middle of that light. Um, you do have, again, it's a vapor wall. So it's gonna have a, a door that kind of seals, but you can still see what's going on back there through this glass. And as we go through this guy, you see all the storage. Nice painted gray shakers. I 
have a big old, I think this is a 50 inch, 48 inch Jensen TV. That's your sound system that'll power the speakers in here in the back and outside. You've got a sound bar. And this is a neat little fireplace, but not only does it act as kind of a digital fire, it also acts as a space heater. So if you don't want to kick on your, your furnace when you're out there camping and it's a little chilly in the morning and you want to sit down and have coffee, you can kick that little heater on and it'll actually warm this area really nice without having to light the furnace. So I like those a lot. Um, let's go. You do have these little stools and they kind of tuck away real neat, but they also make a nice little entertain, you know, conversation area. And they're really beefy. I mean, you'd think they're kind of small, but man, they are, they're strong. Nice island, Corian cooktop. Really nice 18 cube fridge. This thing is huge. I don't think they make a bigger RV fridge and it does work on gas and electric. So it is a, look at that freezer. Now, as we come over here, we've got a convection microwave. The 30 inch, real nice big size. More storage up top. And this is a Furion stainless steel oven. Furion is a brand that's gonna, um, it's kind of made for our industry and what, the, what it's for is all the circuitry and everything in Furion appliances are made to withstand a lot of vibration and a lot of uh, temperature extremes, cold and hot. So yeah, this, this, this is a great brand. The more Furion you see in any kind of unit you're looking at in the, in the towables, I feel like it's better. You do have a nice little night light here if you want to kind of walk through here in the dark without kicking the island or whatever. But what's nice about this oven is a lot of the RV ovens are about this big and then this, this screwed in shelf is right in the middle. So it doesn't really give you a whole lot of cooking space. I like this Fury in the best because it does have room. These things are adjustable and you can actually bake in there for, for a change. You have a nice little drawer here for your pots and pans and what have you. Here's your undermounted farm sink, stainless steel. You do have like the cutting board counter extenders and you do have a little spray nozzle. You do have plenty of outlets here. Um, if you want to plug in blenders and coffee makers, what have you. This is just a little uh, remote for the fan right here. It just opens it and turns that on. If you want it, if you've got a little steam coming out of your cook your pots, you want to just vent it or you want to get the hot air out of here before you cool it. That's your that's your unit there. Um, we do have drawers. Nice ball bearing slides on those guys, really easy to operate. Nice deep one there. We even have a little drawer hidden in the sizes of these guys here too. So just drawers and storage everywhere. like the crown on the cabinet. That's a really nice touch. Here's all the books for this guy, the manuals, all that good stuff. I, it's, this is almost pristine. I bet you this rarely ever been used. It really doesn't look like it's had a whole lot of use on it. It's showing like a brand new one. You do have push button. Throughout the whole coach, all these little white domes you see, they're all gonna be LED. Real low, uh, a real efficient lighting. Doesn't take a whole lot of juice to keep those lit. Um, got some more drawers. Here's your, all your remotes for all your TVs. Another drawer down here. And then here's under the sink. So you can see some plumbing, but you do have a nice little area there for a trash can. Well thought out kitchen. Now we'll get to the really nice part. This is a Thomas Payne. A uh, nice sofa. It's got, uh, it is a reclining sofa. It is heat and massage. What's nice about it, not only is it the most comfortable thing you'll ever sit on, it also has these little TV trays if you want to just kind of kick back, watch TV, and have a cocktail. Put a drink in there, you can just put a little drink or, you know, some snacks on that guy. I'll be right back. I'm going to get my clipboard. That's the living quarters. Um, as we go, We'll show you the in command. This is where you, if, you, if you get into the cold weather and you're worried about your tanks getting a little bit cold, these are your tank heaters. Real nice label there, but um, yeah, you just pop these on if you get those, you know, 
lower temperatures and your, your tanks are going to just work just fine. They're little blanket heaters. Keep, it's a really good addition. That with that insulated underbelly, you could take this deep into the fall or early spring. This is your in command center. So we're going to look at this just a minute. Uh, you do have a, you have settings on your coach. You have your black tanks and stuff. This is how you start your generator. You just prime it and start it. I'm not going to do that right now. But like when we open the slides, you just hit the slide button and then you can go in or out with those guys. And it just kind of goes through all the different functions of this guy. But what's really nice is you can download an app for this guy and run this thing from your phone. Your awnings in and out, all that good stuff is right there. So that's your in, your in command. Nice little barn door. Maybe. It slides, it doesn't swing out here. It doesn't obstruct your, your path up and down the stairs, especially in the evenings. And you can't see as well in this little hallway, but yeah, so that's a nice little barn door. It is a Jack and Jill bathroom. Let you look at it. Another fantastic fan up here. So it kind of power fan that comes up and gets all the steam out of the room. Um, if you notice, the, there's heat running through the floor on this guy, and it's still on the same on the down side. And that's kind of keeping heat in that insulated underbelly. And it, you know, it's going to keep all those pipes and everything a little bit warmer than like an exposed underbelly. Or, you know, a vented, some, some manufacturers don't run the heat in the floor. I kind of like how Keystone does it because they run metal channels through and ducts through the whole floor and it kind of radiates heat into that underbelly. So that's kind of a nice deal too. You do have your body wash, shampoo and conditioner dispenser in this guy, but it's a nice size insert. I'm 6'1", I'm in here, I'm in the skylight a little bit, but it's a nice, nice insert, nice size. I don't feel like I'm really cramped. Plenty of room to take a shower. You do have these nice sliding glass doors. Go both ways. And it's Jack and Jill. So if you want to sh shut that door, shut this door, you can get in your bathroom and that sort of thing. Now this is the master bedroom. And what's, what I like about this bedroom layout is it's called an east-west slide. So a lot of a lot of fifth wheels have beds coming out this way. And they kind of have a wardrobe cabinet here and a wardrobe cabinet there and they're kind of tucked away but and usually you're, you're against one side or the other they have them with wardrobe slides but what I like about this particular floor plan is that it kind of feels more like a bedroom you get a little bit more room at the end of your bed it seems to be a little bit easier to make the bed because you can get to all three sides and it offers the whole nose to be a little bit more of a closet area so it's really nice that way and then you do have storage under that guy look at all that storage you have and it is on shock so it's pretty much a bed lift that looks like a true queen to me. It's long enough and it's a queen size bed. You do have areas for, you know, phones, what have you. And you do have your lights up here that you can turn on and off right there at a push of a button. This bedroom has its own uh, AC unit above it. And it's got a little built-in dresser here for you. Not to mention, this is a really nice closet. So again, LED push button lighting. And if you notice down here, you've got a little hot and cold water. That's for a combo washer and dryer right there. So this thing is definitely pre-plumbed for a nice little combo unit if you're gonna be doing longer trips and wanna do some laundry. Now this guy kind of slides open and this one kind of turns this way. But what's nice about it when it's closed, look at all that mirror you got there. That's kind of nice too. And then you've got, of course, another closet over here and it's kind of built either side. So that's the Fusion 419. Um, again, I'm gonna go over some of the stats like I do in the beginning in case you missed them. The dry weight on this guy is 15,240 15, pounds. It's got a hitch weight of 3760. It's 44 foot long. It's 13.3 high. It's a three slides, it sleeps nine. Fresh gallons 106, gray water is 88, black water is 88. Uh, 30 gallon gas station, 30 gallon generator tank, 60 gallons LP, 35,000 BTU furnace. It's got 7,000 pound axles, uh, 12 gallon water heater, 15 foot garage. It'll carry, the whole coach will carry 3,544 pounds, heated tanks, and a 10 and a 14 foot awning. 
Now, my name is Dean Jones. If you want to get a hold of me and talk about this unit or any other ones we have, you can get me direct at 303 684 3424 or my cell at 720 347 7063, or you can simply email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. Thanks.